Hello guys, once again, welcome back. This is more 49ers news. And this one is very, very interesting. This one is all about Grant Cohen. So, this is on uh, si.com forward slash NFL forward slash 49ers forward slash uh, news. And this is all about Grant Cohen. Now, if you don't know who Grant Cohen is, he's a 49ers um, uh, analyst. Very, very good he is. He's a very good reporter as well. Um, he's got a YouTube channel. Look it up. Just type in his name, Grant Cohen. Um, highly recommends. He comes up with really, really good stuff. Does r amazing videos. And um, yeah, uh, which 49ers rookie will have the best season? And he asks 13, 14 year olds and uh, to analyse. So that's amazing. So I'll read it on for you guys. So this is by Grant Cohen. Once again, check the YouTube out. Which 49ers rookie will have the best season? Previously on uh, on the uh, all 49ers junior roundtable. Uh, my estimated panel of 13 to 14 year olds analysed the biggest obstacles facing the 49ers in 2021. So, previously on all 49ers junior roundtable, my estimated uh, panel of the 13 and 14 year olds analysed uh, the biggest obstacles facing the 49ers in 2021. This time, check out which rookie, not your average sports kid, Benjamin uh, is it Camperman and uh, Amin the Dream. Uh, think we'll have the best season. They've also got YouTube channels, so check them out as well because they're pretty good. And um, yeah, so here you go. So which of the forty nines will have the best? Uh, which of the forty nines rookies will have the best season? So this one's on uh, not your average sports kid, and he says, "I'm going to say Trey Sermon. I would say uh, uh, Ambry Thomas, but it's just a known fact that rookie corners in the NFL just don't do so great. Uh, let at uh, Jeff." Um, Jeff uh, Okadar last year. He did not play great at all. So I'm going to say Sermon, uh, Sherman, Sermon because Jeff Wilson Jr. is out and he's going to learn from Raheem Mostert. So Sherman should get 10 carries per game. If Mostert gets injured, Sermon will get 15 carries per game. He's injured now. We haven't even started, but okay. That's good. Um, Benjamin says, this is a sleeper. You know the guy they signed from Mexico, Alfredo Gutierrez, I, I like him a lot. He plays right tackle. You can give Mike uh, McClansky some healthy competition. I think he could emerge. Daniel Brunsky was an undrafted free agent. It doesn't ta take much to beat McClansky. Do you know what? To be fair, that's a good shout. Uh, an ATD. Oh, uh, that is. Uh, I mean, the dream. He says, uh, "I'm going to go with Trey Lance. Jimmy Garoppolo is going to get injured again. Uh, he hurt his ankle week two last season." How did he get hurt? Is it made of glass? He gets hurt so easily. So Lance is going to play. And Mike uh, McDaniel is going to be your season coordinator. He can use Lance the way the Ravens use Lamar Jackson. Uh, he can hand off to Mostert or Sermon. Or he can run the ball himself. No defence will have the answer for that. And McDaniel can do that because he used to be, uh, he used to be the run game coordinator. Lance is going to play. Well, they are absolutely interesting. Very interesting. Um, me, personally, I couldn't even tell you. You could say Trey Lance, but then again, I reckon... Because tr um, uh, they're reckoning in training that he's mechanical. His mechanical arm or something is not good. But um, he's building up on it, and he looks better building up. So, you know, we could argue... We could, like, for argument's sake, that Trey Lance is going to do well. Me, personally, I think he's going to do well. That's not been. That's not me being, you know, uh, very um, over over the top or top of, like over the top or being. Um, how do they call it? Pity about it or um, up myself sort of thing. So I, I think Trey is going to fit in well. And if Jimmy G gets injured, I think the way that he looks is the only time he's going to play. If Jimmy G gets injured, he's he's dead in there. But hopefully he plays a preseason. Because I, I, I really, really, really want him to do well. Yeah. He should do well. I hope he does. Um, but yeah, that's that's good. I couldn't tell you not the rookie to watch out for. Because me personally, the draft. Is it Aaron Banks? The guard? Banks. I want to watch out for him. It might be a biggie. Like a big bloke. But, you know. Bose is a big bloke. He went downhill. Yeah, I want to keep an eye on that guard. Yeah, I want to keep an eye on Banks. I think Banks is going to do well. Um, but other than that, 
me personally, I couldn't care. As long as they're healthy, the rookies are ready to kick ass for this season, we're going to have a very good season. But other than that, we'll find out. Um, thank you very much for watching, guys. Leave your comments. Tell me, tell me down below. Tell me what you think is going to be the rookie to watch out for this season. Um, other than that, thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for the 37 subscribers. We're really fortunate, really humble, and really appreciate you uh, you guys subscribing. And if you're new, subscribe, because I'll be doing a lot more 49ers news, um, reviews, reactions, movie reviews, and all sorts, all, and gaming streaming as well. I need to get that back up and running. Because at first one, I had no sound, and my mic was working. So I need to sort that out and get back into that. Um, but yes, guys, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you guys um, on the next video.